All right, let's do a quick unboxing of this and we'll go from there. So here I have two chargers. These are both gallium nitride chargers. We have a 65 watt and a 100 watt charger. This one I think is about uh, 80 bucks. This one is about $70. So both of these, um, you can see the outputs at the back. Um, you'll see that um, you can have up to 100 watt outputs combined out of all ports. And of course you can also have various outputs combined if you use different ports at once. So let's open up the 65 watt, 65 watt charger first. Okay. All right. Oh, nothing else in there. And here we have a little thank you for your purchase card. Nothing else on here. And then we have a welcome guide. And what do I see here? Not much interesting here. It is what it is. Um, and just various instructions, but otherwise, you know, not much to talk about there. And this is the actual charger. Oh my goodness, it's actually pretty heavy. That is quite a heavy charger. So I got a white one. Um, as you can see, this one is rubber. So it's, um, it feels nice to the touch. I can see this getting scuffed and dirty pretty, pretty easily. So I don't know about that. Um, yeah, so you can see there's your uh, charging ports here, a little LED over there, and then a regular USB. So not too many ports on this. It's this 65 watt charger. Um, the brick is uh, hefty, but of course you have this nice little, oh, that's tight. That's a tight snap right there. So you can prevent this from getting, you know, damaged or bent when you put it in your bag, it just snaps back in place. So it's a very nice feature and uh, we'll see how it goes. Of course, you have your various information here. And of course you have each of the modes actually on the charger. So it tells you the wattage, you know, for example, if you do both of the USB C's, you get 45 watt and 18 watt. So C1, 45 watt, C2, 18 watt. And then if you go down to mode two, you've got charger or C1, USB C1 and A, same thing, 45 watt, 18 watt. And then if we move on to uh, C2 plus A, that puts us at, what is that? 5 volt, 4 amp, 20 watts for both. So 20 watts for this one and 20 watts for this. And then if we go to mode four, which is all three at once, then we're looking at 45 plus 15 plus, that doesn't make sense. 45 for C1, that makes sense. Plus 15 for C2. Um, oh, I see. So 15 watt split between this one and this one over here. So there we go. Okay. All right. Let's look at the other one now, the 100 watt charger. So we'll put this aside and open up this guy. Okay. Nothing in the box. Oh, is there anything in the box? Nothing. We have the exact same thing. We have your welcome guide and your thank you. And this one will be for the 100 watt charger fast charger. This one's black. Okay. So let's take a look at what we have here. Oh, this one's even heavier. Ooh, this one's hefty. This one is probably 30% of the 30% heavier than the 65 watt charger. Um, this brick, how, how big is it? Yep. You can see it's a little bit smaller, um, right there. So you're looking at it a little bit bigger, but not much bigger actually, especially when you get an, an additional 35 watts. Weight wise, it's pretty heavy. And of course the charging ports, you can see that they're the exact same. You have your USB and then your two uh, USB-C ports and then the little um, LED over here. Um, again, this one will get scuffed up, but it's black. So it's, it, it'll be a bit easier to keep looking clean at least. And of course we're gonna look at the uh, modes here. Here we have USB C1 and C2. So C1, oh wait, what? Or is it this way? I don't actually know. I think it should be, yeah, so it should charge like this. So that means that's C1, which doesn't make sense. Let's take a look at this again. Okay. So we have, so the bottom one is the 100 watt one. So interesting. So since the bottom is 100 watts, so that means that the way this thing reads, C1 plus C2 is 65 plus 30. So that means it should be this orientation of that. So that's 65 and that's 30. And then we have mode C1 plus A. So that's 65 plus 30. 
and we have mode, oh, sorry, and we have mode C2 plus A, both of them at, what is that, 25 watts? Yeah, so this bottom one and the USB uh, port will be both 25 watts if you use them both at the same time. And then, of course, we have C1 plus C2 plus A. We have 65 watts plus 24 split between both of these. So 65, 24 between both of these over here. Okay, so I'm going to test these out on my Lenovo laptop and compare it, and I'll let you guys know. All right, now I'm going to show you guys a quick charging test. So right now I have the 100-volt um, charger plugged in, and I have my two USB-C cables here. And... Um, it's actually pretty good because it's a USB-C cable. Um, it's capable of, you know, very high wattage charging. But here I have my ThinkPad and I'm just going to plug this in. You know what? No, I'm going to use this one. There we go. And then I'm going to plug in my cell phone as well. There we go. So we've got two things plugged in right now. I have my phone as well as my laptop and I'm going to open up my um, laptop charging screen and I'll show you or you guys will be able to see that it's recognized as 60 watt charging I believe because right now it's charging both at the same time BC power connected so right now it's charging um, I can charge this at the same time as I am doing my um, as well as when I'm charging my phone um, this thing takes about an hour to charge with the regular charger and I can do this one in basically the exact same time So this one does work fairly well. I'm going to just move this to the side and as you see here You will see that I'm also charging this and you'll see that right now. It's also fast charging as well um, at maximum capacity because the uh, The phone only takes about 18 watt fast charging I believe so there we have it. It's able to charge, I'm, I think I'm basically at an 80 something watts of fast charging for both devices right now. Um, and let's test out the uh, 65 watt. Okay, now I have the 65 watt charger connected. And as you can see, because I'm doing, um, because I'm doing two, uh, my phone and my laptop at the same time, right now it's showing us 45 watt USB-C power because I have my both my phone and my laptop connected, but if I unplug the phone, it should go up to 65 watts. But we gotta wait for a bit for it to keep going, and there we go. See, now we're at 65 watts. I plug my phone back in, and it should drop back down to 45 watts. That also means that because the laptop is charging at 45 watts, then the phone here is actually charging at about 18 watts as well. So we're not fully at the 65 watt mark because 45 plus 20 is 16. So we're probably at 63 watts. So that right there is a good overview of how these work and they're pretty good for sustained charging as well. Um, this brick here does actually get pretty hot. So it does get quite hot when you're using it. Um, so um, yeah. All right. So talking about these chargers, we have the this is going to be the uh, 100 watt charger, and this one costs about $69 US. So um, it's not, not super cheap. Um, you could get other chargers from other suppliers. I think they have slightly lower wattage, but they have more ports, because this one does have fewer ports. It only has two USB-Cs and one USB-A port. So that is probably the biggest downside to this volt me over here there's only three most others you get at least one extra usb c port or one extra usb a port um, so that's what you get for the 100 watt charger and here we have the 65 watt charger and this one is currently going for about 43 us dollars on amazon um, honestly i would recommend this because there's not a lot of things that can take let's say 100 watt charging um, so um, I would take this as it's a little bit cheaper, um, 45 or 65 watt charging. You get your two USB-C ports and a regular USB-A port. This is going to be enough to charge your phone and your laptop at the same time. Um, again, I mean, if you wanted to charge your phone and laptop at the same time at full speed, yeah, you should probably get the 100 watt charger. But for me, I would recommend you get this one instead. So sorry, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Check it out in the link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one.